thanking the Lord for an amazing miracle, the gift that God has entrusted Maurice and Dana with. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just a little bit of background and understanding biblically. We don't baptize infants because simply we believe that scripture says one thing, that when we do water baptism, we understand that we are dying to the old and living to what God has new, that we're testifying to the good things that God is doing us. And although baby Autumn is amazing, she doesn't yet fully understand what God is doing inside of her. And so today we're here to dedicate baby Autumn. And we're here to stand with the parents and stand together with family and friends and loved ones and agreeing that God is going to do great things in this baby's life and in the life of your family together today. Amen. Just a few things in Scripture. Psalm 127 says this, Children are a gift from God, and they are a reward from Him. Samuel 1 says, is where we see Hannah presenting her son Samuel to the Lord. Um, and in Luke 2, we read that Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus to the temple to be presented. And so today, uh, Maurice and David, uh, we stand here today to do the same together and to be thankful for the Lord and what He's doing. Deuteronomy 6 says this, church. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting home. These scriptures I share with you guys are to help guide you and to lead you. They're just the beginning of a road that we all will walk together as a church family. And as we do so, we want you guys to know that we're here to walk through that. And we're here to pray for you uh, and your family as a well. whole. Maurice and Dana, love God with every ounce and every fiber of your energy. And teach baby Autumn to do the same. Uh, as you love God and one another, you will model because of all the wonderful love for God that she will want for herself. Uh, Maurice and Dana, by coming forward before God and his people, uh, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and your daughter Autumn to the Lord? If so, please respond by saying yes. Having come freely, I ask you now that you enter into the following commitment in the presence of God and his people, so that Autumn may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. <clears throat> do you, Marie Santana, vow by God's help and in partnership with the church to provide Autumn a Christian home, love, and peace, to raise her in the truth of our Lord's instruction? And to discipline and, and, discipline, and to encourage her to do one day trust in Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. So, Church, I ask you in this portion, would you stand with us today? Part of standing and part of being able, Maurice and Dana, to call ourselves a church is knowing that this is not a lonely walk. This is not a walk that you have to feel like there's no one else around to help. Uh, please know today that there is a sea of people out here that are here to take you by the hand and here to be on their knees in prayer for you and knowing that God will lead you together. Church, I ask you this. Many of you understand the concept and you've heard it before. It takes a village to raise a child. Amen? Amen. And so in so doing today, I ask you to make this commitment to me as I read it. And if you agree with me at the end of it, would you say I do? So, so that Autumn may, Autumn may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers, do you vow by God's help to be faithful in your calling as members of the body of Christ to help Maurice and Dana be faithful to God and help teach and train Autumn in the ways of the Lord so that she might one day trust in Him as her Lord and Savior? If so, please say we do. We, we do. do. Amen. At this time, would you stretch your hands forward towards the family and baby Autumn? Pray together, church. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Lord, so much for this family. Thank you for this family. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you've given this beautiful baby to this beautiful couple. Yes, Father. I thank you, Father, that your Holy Spirit will resound in their lives. Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit will surround this family, that it would surround baby Autumn, Lord, all the days of her life. Lord, that you would make yourself known to her, Father, at an early age. That she wouldn't just know you, but that she'd be found in you, Father. Yes, Father. Lord, I pray that, Lord, she would be, 
Lord, like a solid rock. Yes, Lord. That she would be the one who people can lean on. Lord, that she would be the one, God, that people can go to because of how strong you've made her in character. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. Lord, I pray, Father, for these parents. I pray for Maurice. I pray for them. And I pray, God, that by your name and by your presence, you would equip them. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as parents, Lord, there's not always an answer, but I thank you, Lord, that when there's no answer, you will be their answer. Hallelujah. Lord, clothe them in your spirit. Lead them by your truth. May the word of God, Lord, truly be a lamp unto their feet. Father. Yes, Father. Lord, may they seek you all the days of their life, Lord, as they lead baby autumn in their family. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. All God's people say. Amen. Amen.